Hello. Today I want to talk about something that is a common problem with these IS-250s, like the one you see here. This is mine. Uh, and it's something called carbon buildup on the intake valves. And I just want to discuss what I had to do to um, kind of clean it up. Um, and it wasn't severely terrible, uh, so it wasn't clogged up to the point where I needed walnut blasting. But uh, yeah, let's just go in the car and I'll talk about uh, what I did to clean up the uh, intake valves. And, uh, and I'll talk about how the car performs after that was done. So I'm in the car and I want to talk about what carbon buildup is exactly. And what it is, is it's gasoline um, the combustion. And what happens is that in a matter of time, you know, as you're... As time goes on, uh, basically the uh, the valves in your car, um, the intake valves will have a black soot that kind of accumulates over it and under it. And I'm going to show you an example now of what bad carbon buildup could look like. Um, this example is not my car. This is just a random picture I pulled up on the internet as an example of a really bad example. Um, so let me show you a very atrocious bad example of carbon buildup and... I'm going to tell you what I did to my car, um, because my uh, car wasn't this bad, like in the picture that you're about to see. But there was carbon buildup there, so let's just uh, get to it now. Here's the picture. So as you saw in the example, that looked pretty bad. But with my valves, they did not get to that point. And that was actually a very good thing, because if it did get to that level, what you would need to do is go beyond the level that the, the step that I did. And that is uh, something called walnut blasting. Now, walnut blasting is something that you do if your carbon buildup is really heavy. Because doing the deter detergent thing that whatever that my mechanic did here, um, spray the valves so that, you know, the carbon deposits come off. If, if your carbon buildup issues are terrible, if they really are as bad as the picture I just showed you, you know, you're going to need to do walnut blasting because it's going to be more effective. It's going to be done quicker. Um, than trying to remove it yourself uh, in the method that they used with my car. Um, so with my car here, um, this car is a direct injection engine. It has a direct injection engine in it. And uh, for the IS350, um, the model above, it doesn't actually. Um, it has something called port um, injection, I believe it's called. You could correct me if I'm wrong on that, but it's basically uh, fuel gets sprayed on top of the valves and so it the fuel acts as a cleaning component so that the carbon buildup does not accumulate on it so that's not the case with this car um you do have to watch out for that um now i'm glad in my case that the carbon buildup was not so bad that i had to spend 800 to a thousand dollars for the uh for the walnut blasting and it does get very expensive to do a walnut blasting job um it's not cheap um, but for something like this, uh, what my mechanic did, and he has a, uh, I have a paperwork right here of what it was that was done, uh, fuel induction detergent kit. So yeah, they just sprayed, you know, he told me the exact details. This was yesterday. So, and he was telling me what they did exactly, but basically what they did was they sprayed the, um, and they really cleaned the, the injectors there and the uh, port injections and, and all of that, and, and the valves, the intake valves. So the intake valves itself is cleaner now. And, um, and now I notice that this car performs noticeably better. Um, it's more responsive to uh, when I push the fuel here, or when I push the gas, I mean. And um, it just feels overall um, like it's performing much better. And in my case, uh, Thankfully, I didn't have to do the car, uh, the walnut blasting. Now, what I recommend uh, you do is if you do have an IS250 like me, or you have any car that has a direct pour, uh, direct injection engine, that you go and check it out with a, what they'll do is they'll take it to a mechanic and they use a little camera called a boroscope and they will check and see if your uh, intake valves are caked with this carbon buildup. And if it really is severe, then you really have to spend you have really have to look into the other alternative of walnut blasting it, which will clean it out very well. What I did is not as deep as a cleaning, but it's uh, not as deep as a cleaning because I didn't need as deep as a cleaning. My carbon buildup was not to the point where it would justify 
such an expensive job of carbon uh, of um, walnut blasting. So um, what I think that you should do is definitely if you have a car like this with a direct injection engine, just check and see how bad your carbon buildup is first, and your uh, let's see and see if your mechanic could do it the way that um, they did with mine. Uh, which was basically just uh, you know, sprayed out um, with this, I think it's what they use. Uh, I don't know what it's called exactly, the brand, but it seems like some pretty pretty strong stuff that they use to, uh, to hose off and to, like, and, and to blow the carbon deposits off. But um, yeah, you could do that. Um, and hopefully your carbon buildup issues are not so bad that you do have to spend a thousand dollars doing the walnut blasting procedure. But the walnut blasting procedure is going to be the most effective at cleaning it. And in this case, um, because I didn't do the more complicated and more deep cleaning, I probably will have to at least one time again, maybe in the next 30,000 miles, within the, um, probably between 25,000 and 30,000 miles, I am going to need to clean the valves again. But thankfully it was... Um, it was under two hundred dollars. Let me see how much it was here. It was a few. Um, let's take a look. One hundred and fifty-five. So, yeah, not bad actually. Um, it's definitely affordable, and you're not going to be doing it every oil change or whatever. You're going to be doing it. Um, and what I plan to do is every twenty-five to thirty thousand miles. If you have a better suggestion, let me know. But yeah, that's something to look out for when you get these uh, in these cars. If you get any car with a direct injection engine, please be aware of that. Carbon buildup is something that you should not ignore because if it gets really, really bad, um, your car will misfire. It just won't perform very well and you could overall destroy the engine and you just don't want to do that. You want to do whatever you can to keep the car... Uh, to keep the car in your possession for a long time if that's in fact your goal. And so, um, yeah, that's all I, all I have to say about carbon buildup. Definitely check it out. Um, know your options uh, when it comes to your particular situation and mine. You know, yeah, just needed a simple cleaning. No deep walnut blasting cleaning, thank God. Um, and to ensure that I don't get to that level, I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to make sure I'm uh, on top of it and make sure that after a certain amount of miles, as I said earlier, 25, 30,000. I'm gonna go in there again, have the mechanic look at the condition of the uh, um, the valves, and uh, you know, just have that job uh, done once more. And so, yeah, that's pretty much what you could do to solve the carbon buildup issues with your car. And before I go, I just wanna say, please, please don't let it get too bad because if it gets really bad and you cause damage to your car, it could really result in something that is going to be a much more expensive fix, like walnut blasting. I don't know if carbon buildup could really blow up your engine or do something severe where it would need an entire engine rebuild. Hopefully not, but you definitely want to avoid that as well because putting a brand new engine in your car, your car's junk at that point. You might as well just get a new car entirely. But yeah, um, that's all I got to say. I hope that you enjoy these uh, car discussion slash maintenance uh, videos because I do like the subject of uh, car maintenance. It is a little expensive, but you know, it's something that you need to do if you want to keep your car running and on the road for a long, long time. Be on top of the maintenance. You have to be on top of the maintenance or else your car is just not going to last that long. But all right, uh, I'll see you next time. and. In fact, why don't we just take a little drive, and um, I'm in the neighborhood right now, so I'm not going to be able to drive really fast, people walking around, but maybe I'll just do a little bit of an example of, um, uh, of me driving the car and reacting to, uh, reacting to how differently it drives. So um, yeah, let's do that right now. Let's see now how it drives. I don't want to push it too fast because you're on a tripod right now and it might fly off, but it does actually perform much better. Um, it just feels a lot smoother. It feels like uh, the idle when I was... It was a little bit of a rough idle before. Um, it wasn't really too severe because the carbon buildup wasn't really severe. But, uh, you know, when I'm stopped at a stop sign or whatever, the car doesn't really vibrate that much anymore. And yeah, it's a, there's a V6 in here, so it's not... It's, gonna be, it's already going to be pretty smooth. But yeah, it's a, I just feel like the car is just 
just feels healthier. And that's something that I'm gonna be on top of is looking at those intake valves there, making sure that they're free of this carbon buildup so that the car could keep going and going um, without any issues. But anyways, thank you for watching the video. I must focus on my driving now. I'll see you in the next one and yeah, that's pretty much it. Who knows what my next video will be, but I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.